Welcome to the Peptide Podcast. We're talking about the peptide information you need to know to start your week in less than five minutes. Have you ever wondered how your brain stays sharp and focused? There's a fascinating peptide called dihexa that plays a superhero role in boosting brain power. Imagine a tiny helper that supports your memory, thinking skills, and your overall brain function. In this podcast, we'll cover dihexa, understanding what it is, how it works, and the potential incredible benefits it may offer in optimizing brain function. So what exactly is dihexa? You can think of it as a tiny building block for your brain that helps your brain cells communicate better and ensures everything is running smoothly. So how does dihexa work? Dihexa comes from what we call angiotensin 4. Angiotensin 4 is a peptide in your body that helps regulate blood pressure and fluid balance. It also has many effects on your central nervous system, like helping the process of learning and taking in new information, experiences, and skills. This is known as memory acquisition, and it also affects our memory recall and object recognition. So dihexa's secret lies in its ability to enhance a molecule called acetylcholine. You can think of acetylcholine as a messenger that helps brain cells kind of talk to each other. Dihexa ensures plenty of this messenger is around, making communication between your brain cells clearer, faster, and more efficient. This simply means that your brain can process information quicker and remember things more effectively. It's kind of like giving your brain a turbo boost. So what are the benefits of dihexa? First off, it's like a personal trainer for your memory. It helps strengthen your ability to remember things like your favorite song lyrics or important dates, which can be helpful in people with Alzheimer's. Next, dihexa enhances your focus and attention. Now, imagine concentrating better during a class or when you're working on a project. That's what dihexa can help you achieve. Dihexa also supports your problem-solving skills. It's like having a clever friend who helps you solve puzzles faster. Plus, it's been shown to promote overall brain health or mental stamina, keeping your thinking skills sharp as you grow older. So what is the typical dose of dihexa? Now, dihexa can be taken by mouth or used as a topical cream. The typical dose is 20 to 80 milligrams, about four to five times per week, depending on why you're using it. It's also important to know that you cannot use this when you're taking cerebrolysin. So we've discussed cerebrolysin several weeks before, but I'd like to review just what cerebrolysin is and how it helps with cognitive health. So cerebrolysin is a nootropic peptide that supports neurons growth, survival, and maintenance, aiding in their communication and just your overall brain health. It may help people with traumatic brain injury or TBI or stroke recovery and mood enhancement. It can also improve memory, learning, and overall cognitive performance. And the drug's antioxidant and anti-apoptotic properties also help protect brain cells from damage and death, potentially slowing down the progression of neurodegenerative disorders like Alzheimer's and Parkinson's. If you or a loved one are considering dihexa as a treatment option, consult a qualified healthcare professional to determine its suitability and safety for your specific needs. As science advances, the quest for unlocking the full potential of the human brain remains a fascinating journey, and with dihexa paving the way for new possibilities in the field of neuropharmaceuticals, this is a really exciting peptide that we have in our pipeline. Thanks again for listening to the Peptide Podcast. We love having you as part of our community. If you love this podcast, please share it with your friends and family on social media, and have a happy, healthy week.